What's up guys, Sergio the Bob's Burgers Review Fan 2008 here and I'm going to do a review on Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, came out 2001, the same year as Shrek, Monsters Inc. Um, Atlantis, Atlantis the Longest Empire I think it's called, which I haven't watched that movie in years. Um, Accelera. So basically what the plot is, it's about this, it takes place before the TV show, even though this came out before the TV show. It's about this little genius called Jimmy Neutron. He um he he builds stuff and uh wants to be he he's very smart and um he um his mother always grounds him for like doing stuff in the sky and destroying the roof and destroying stuff and he wishes um his life was better without parents. But then um, aliens come and take abduct the planet and takes all the par all the kids' parents. And the parents go out to space and try and find f save their parents. Jimmy, it's up to now it's up to Jimmy to save his par save his parents and everybody else's parents. And that's basically what the plot is. No, guys, I'm I absolutely love this movie. I rewatched this movie two years ago on ne on Netflix. I gotta say, it still holds up to this day. That's why right, it's this movie still holds up to this very day. I still love this movie. Which yeah, it's a great prequel to the TV show. So yeah. Now the animation movie was pretty good. I like the animation. Um. The story is great and the characters are good. Jimmy's funny. Carol's hilarious. Sheen is definitely a, a, a funny character. One of the best characters ever. Cindy. Yeah, I don't really like Cindy. Cindy. Yeah, Cindy in this movie. Yeah, she was not a great character in the movie. I like her in the TV show, but in the movie, she was kind of a pathetic. Um, Nick. Yeah, I don't really like Nick. Nick was not a great character. I do not like Nick. He's kind of, he's kind of a lame character. I don't like Nick at all. Jimmy's parents are actually good characters. I like Jimmy's parents. Libby, yeah, she was an alright character in this movie, but in the TV show, she actually approved herself, approved herself and become a good character. Which, yeah. And the dog, which, what's the dog's name again? Um, what, um, Goddard, Goddard, yeah, Goddard, yeah, he's a funny character, the dog, yeah, he's a funny character, I love Goddard, yeah, and now the villain, now let's get to the villain, ho, 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 boy, King Goobot, I gotta say, he is, oh. sorry about that, guys, back to what I was saying, yeah, King Goobot, I gotta say, I'm even saying this. <sighs> He's actually a great villain. You all thought I was going to say he's a terrible villain. No. That's a complete lie. He's a great villain. I love King Goobot. He's seriously one of the best villains in Jimmy Neutron history. Along with Professor Kalimuto and S2 Sturch. Seriously. They're all awesome villains. King Goobot is such an awesome villain. No one can argue with that. No one can ever argue with that. If whoever says it's a bad villain, well, I can handle your opinion, but I can handle your opinion, but the villain, he's actually good. I actually like the villain. He's a great, great villain. Yeah. And the scene and when Jimmy like accidentally uh, mess satellite message to another universe to another species, yeah, that's the plot really, but um yeah, it's kind of, it was kind of disappointing and sad. Yeah. Now, I do like the show more than, than this movie, but, yeah. And the actor who plays is Sheen, Jeffrey Garcia. Yeah, he's a great actor. I like, I like Jeffrey Garcia. He played as, a uh, Pip from, uh, Barnyard, which you all know my thoughts on Barnyard. It's a masterpiece. And, I'm, and I did say that I'm not going to do... 
a redo review. I'm going to leave it as it is. My review does still age well, which, yeah. And all the actor who plays is Jimmy Neutron, Debbie Derry Berry. Yeah, she, this is the only good role she did, honestly. She, her, the rest of the things she played in was Monster High, which, Monster High, yeah, I am not the biggest fan of Monster High. I mean, to just surprise you guys, I've never watched a single episode of Monster High. That's right, I've never watched an episode of Monster High. Which I'm not going to, because it doesn't look like my kind of thing. And the movies, I have heard a lot here on the movies. Which, yeah, the movies, I will watch one day. I might watch and do a rant on it. I might watch the first movie and then do a rant on it. I might watch the second movie and do a rant on that. Which, yeah. The TV show, I will never watch, because it doesn't look like doesn't look like my kind of thing. So, yeah. So overall, guys, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. It's an amazing, brilliant masterpiece. It's such a classic. Such a classic. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And goodbye.